Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 3 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Oh, Creeper. That's scary Creeper. That was rude, Mr. Creeper. I had nowhere to go. I'll live. I'll live. I'll live. I don't know what that noise was, but it's me living. I'm just outside hunting, uh, primarily for ender pearls, because uh, I want a better mining tool. Mining has been painful. Uh, I've been doing a bit of it uh, between episodes, kind of went deeper into some of my mining tunnels, looking for diamonds. Uh, got a few extra resources, got some more, you know, I was a little bit, I was a little bit greedy with that one. Uh, there's a lot of creepers out here. Holy cow, there's a lot of creepers out here running away, running away now. I see another Enderman, though. Uh, so I did a little hunting between episodes, a little mining between episodes. I'm, I'm basically trying to save up for a mining gadget, because that's what I would like to have as my first mining tool. Yay? Any Ender Pearl from him? Nope. No such luck. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, in today's episode, hopefully get a mining gadget up and running, go ahead and upgrade it with some cool upgrades, uh, and be able to mine a lot quicker and easier, which will be a nice start for me, because it means I can, uh, do all the minings. Oh, run away. I don't know what's happening, but I think it's time to hide inside a house. I don't really see much by, uh, the way of Enderman out here anyway, so. Away we go. Woo! <sighs> much safer. Uh, so let's see if I've got... How do, how do I wind up? I got another Ender Pearl. That's cool, because I've gotten a few of those while I was outside hunting and mining and whatnot. A uh, bunch of other miscellaneous resources. Looks like a lot of my smelting has been running pretty smoothly. Oh, I got Appetite. Okay, cool. Does Nickel Dust not want to smelt over here? What is up with Nickel? Nickel Dust from Thermal, of all things, has no use at all? That's interesting. Uh, so there's nickel from immersive, which we can get from, uh-huh, okay. I'm going to call that a mod pack bug, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that's a reasonable thing to, to call that. Um, so clearly lots of uh, miscellaneous stuff collected and, and handled. Ooh, I got boots. Ooh, and they're windswept boots. They increase my, my run speed? That's pretty cool. Combine that with the other one. I like it. I'm getting a lot of run speed boosts, which makes me a very happy camper. All right, so am I good uh, at this point to make a mining gadget? We're going to see. I know I saved up a bunch of ender pearls. Um, oh, and uh, I did, uh, the pack has updated, uh, and we've got Silent Gems is now in there. So you can totally get some Silent Gem stuff happening. Yeah, I got a, I ran into at least two nodes of diamonds, I think. Maybe three? I forget. Um, I did a bunch of mining off camera just because, the, the, the especially the early game mining is just so slow. Um, and I hate that it's harder to find coal deep underground now. That's too frustrating. But that's okay. We'll live. Uh, I do have trees I can cut down. I wonder, I don't know much about Silent Gems. I wonder if there's like, you know, a, a cut the whole tree down in one shot kind of deal going on there that would be neat but let's get our gadget going first uh so for gadgets i know i'm gonna need it's been a while since i've played with this mod even though it's mine so uh i know i'm gonna need some glass so hopefully i've got a bit of that playing around here somewhere i know i had some at some point maybe i used it all all right let me go out and get some glass Saw the shovel? Yes. And I want to look at silent gems, uh, but I, I think I want to do my mining gadget for mining, and then we'll use the silent gems mod to get things like weapons and, and armor, because uh, it has all that stuff. So we'll definitely be looking at silent gems, don't worry. But I was sitting here debating if I want to go silent gems for mining as well, and I said, yeah, you know what, let me just, let me just, do, let me just do my mining gadget, because it's been a while since I got to play with that thing. It really has, actually, if you think about it. Is that? Oh, that's bauxite. I thought that was coal for a sec got excited there we go maybe i had sand on me already uh, i don't know maybe i feel like i didn't mine 38 sand just now okay so we'll throw a bunch of this in the redstone furnace get it smelting i'll put a few extras away just to be safe so let's look at the gadget um there's three 
different gadgets, but they all work exactly the same way. There's literally no difference between them, aside from just how they look. Uh, they all they all look pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think last time I did Mark III, which had like the spinny bit in the middle. I think this time I'm gonna do Mark II, uh, which is you know a little bit a little bit cooler. So redstone and lapis is gonna be needed here. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, and I know I'm gonna need a healthy-ish amount of redstone uh, and potentially some other stuff, but we'll find out. Cause I want some upgrades too. I definitely want some upgrades. Um, so let's get ourselves a glass pane, which is why I needed my glass. Yeah, I hear you all, you monsters out there. Trust me, I'm aware. So upgrade modules are used for a lot of the upgrades that we're gonna be getting at some point. And then I also need some gold. Did I get more gold? I did. Sweet. Okay, so mining gadget number two. Oh yeah, that's cool. Nice. Uh, there's a shift right click where you can adjust some attributes. So uh, the mining gadget size, we won't be able to adjust until we get some upgrades in there. Uh, same, the range is maxed out at five blocks, but we can add a range upgrade. Uh, we can change the visuals in terms of what the thing looks like. Uh, I like, I like, I like, uh, let's see, outer glow color. I like it to be this. That's a pretty cool color, in my opinion. That's one I like. Precision mode makes it so that you um, only want mine one block at a time when you're holding right click. Makes it more precise. But if you want to mine in bulk, definitely not the way to go. Uh, so we're going to need a uh, modification table, which should be easy peasy to make. And this is how we modify our mining gadget. Cool. Bada bing. Sweet. Uh, and I was also thinking I might want a charging station um, for the gadget because we need to charge it up. So we can use, uh, actually, gadget will still work for this. We want the charging station from charging gadgets. So we're going to need a block of coal. I may not. Okay, no, I'm cool. I am cool. So charging station. And I forget, did I make it so charging station can accept power? Oh yeah, look at that, it can. How cool is that? Sweet. So the, the main purpose of the charging station was a way for you to charge items like the mining gadget or other RF-based items um, simply by putting fuel inside its fuel slot. And it'll burn up fuel and turn it into, into, into stuff, into power for you automatically. So if I throw charcoal in here, and it's pretty quick too, it'll quickly, you know, generate a bunch of energy. And then we can throw our gadget in there and it'll drain the energy out and store it in the gadget. Sweet. So right now uh, it's connected to the, the, the dynamo here, which is slower, but I'm guessing, I, I'd have to check. I don't remember exactly what my attribute stats were in terms of how much that got, but we should be able to do some basic mining with it at this point. Should be able to. Yay. It works. I can mine up my trees. It's not particularly long ranged, but like I said, you can get range upgrades for it. And the main reason I'm doing this right now, by the way, is so I can get more charcoal. Cool. And if you want to, you can totally change the visuals in terms of, instead of shrinking blocks, you can make it fade out the blocks, which is another cool approach. Oh my goodness, that was a big, everything broke at once kind of thing. So whatever your preference is, it's just visual. If you like it to do the fading effect or do the, do the, do the shrinking effect. I'm gonna need more dirt if I wanna fill in that creeper hole. So now with all this wood that I've collected, I can smelt it up, or at least the majority of it, into charcoal, which will make things a lot cooler for me. Okay, I hear you creepy, creepy sound making things. And let's replant our trees, at least until I get a tree farm up and running. Ah. That's not how you grow a tree. Do 
if I can get rid of that annoying sound too. I hear you. Weldon hunter, huh? I'm not a Weldon. Booyah! Check out that combat, huh? Not too shabby. All right, so now you can charge up and you'll get a bunch of power. I should do a test and find out like a single piece of charcoal, how much RF do I get from the charging station and how much RF do I get from the dynamo? That'd be a cool test, right? Um, so right now you're actually doing things, which is not helping the test. We'll let you fill up and then we'll use some other charcoal in a sec. But first, let's get our upgrades going in the modification table. So you can place your mining gadget in there, and then you can shift click or insert from your slots or drop upgrade onto the screen. Click upgrade to remove. Um, so let's check out what upgrades are available. And I'm going to take note of which ones I want to like do like prioritize wise, right? First off, I would absolutely like the three by three mining. That's going to be your best upgrade, hands down. Like it is 100% the best thing to get because it'll clear a three by three area instead of one block at a time, which is huge. Uh, light placer is nice. Freezing is okay-ish. I wouldn't mind fortune three. That would probably be another high priority one. Um, efficiency makes you mine faster, right? So there's uh, silk touch if you want to get that. Void junk, which is cool because it lets you uh, void out certain items that you don't want. I would like that eventually. And magnet is also a nice one. So I think I'm going to add those. Um, I'll put that with light placer because that's another one I would like to have. And then void junk after that. That all sounds pretty good. Range would also be nice to have um, and efficiency. So I'll put those kind of at the end. And then the battery upgrades, if you want to have a, a larger internal battery, which will be useful uh, as you go in for longer mining expeditions. But early game, like we're having trouble powering the gadget as it is, right? So I'm curious, can I eat this apple? I cannot. Interesting. So the, 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 the gobber mod is what's allowing us to do that. Okay, cool. So I'm going to drain this out entirely so that he has zero RF in there. So one charcoal in the charging station got me 20,000 RF. That's not very much. I mean, I never said it was efficient. And then one charcoal in here. I feel like we're going to absolutely break 20,000 RF, right? We should absolutely do better than that. We'll find out. But as long as we're, you know, well, actually. Wow, you're only 16,000 RF from a charcoal? Okay, so charging station is actually more efficient uh, than the Sterling Dynamo. Okay, cool. That's good to know. All right, well, you get back to making charcoal for me, would you? Cool. And you and have some power to make the charcoal. Okay, let's get our upgrades. So the 3x3 upgrade is the most expensive one, so that's why I'm going to do that one first. Uh, it does need a block of diamonds, and it's going to need a pickaxe. Boy, is that expensive. But And then a ton of redstone. Oh, that's right, you retain your redstone. I'm very used to... Like, just throwing whatever in a crafting table and then closing the window to get my, my items back. That's going to mess with me a bit. That's going to mess with me a bit that it's not doable. Uh, but hey, there's your 3x3 three three upgrade. So now we just toss that in there, and we're good to go. Boom. Now I can switch this to 3x3 three three mode and mine three blocks at a time. How great is that? Okay. Uh, now, in addition to that, do I think I can get Fortune? Because that would be my other highest of priorities. I can probably get Fortune 2. Um, so if I wanted to get you into fortune one, uh, we're going to need, looks like a couple blocks of iron. See, I'm very used to being able to do that. And it's confusing me that I can't. Hey, fortune one's better than nothing, folks. And the nice thing about upgrading fortune one to fortune two is I don't need any more diamonds. Though I will need a couple for fortune three. Uh, but we're going to need blocks of gold for that one and a bunch more lapis if we have any. And we don't. So I feel like I should take my new mining gadget, mining. Because I don't have any more diamonds, um, which means I can't throw any more upgrades on this thing as it is. And uh, yeah, I think I think I think mining is is my next task. So what I'll do, 
show you guys how the how the gadget works a little bit, and then we'll take a break. I'll mine off camera for a few, and then and then we're good to go. Cool. So ender pearls can go away. Uh, I'll hang on to this stuff. Let's throw our um, fortune upgrade in there. Now, one note on the upgrades: some of them, specifically like fortune, uh, will add an RF cost to every block broken. Uh, other ones, like uh, the freezing upgrade and the light modification, use some RF every time the, the feature activates. So a light placer places lights in the world. Every time a light is placed, it costs 100 RF to do that. Um, so eh, that's not bad. Keep that in mind. And if you want to, you can turn the each upgrade on and off. So let's go mining. All right, mining we go. Sweet. It's not particularly fast yet, but don't forget, we're mining at a 3x3 rather than a 1x1, so that's awesome. Um, I usually like the shrink box. That's my personal preference, but obviously, you do you. Cool. And then I'll, I'll definitely make sure that I break any fortunable uh, blocks with the laser, because I've got at least fortune 1 on it. Better than nothing. Back in a few after I do a little bit of mining off camera. Hey, good news. Uh, the mining gadget can mine gobber globbits. So that's cool. So I remember that had some cool stuff in it. I remember wanting that, right? Didn't I want those? I was like, hey, I want to be able to mine those. Oh, this is where a freezing upgrade would come into place. Freezing upgrade would turn this lava into obsidian for me. But that's cool. Let's go mine elsewhere. My diamond has not been lucky for me today. I am not getting any diamonds, and that's all I want. I want to do some more upgrades. Diamonds and lapis. I have to see what Y level lapis is at. I don't know if it's down here. Woot! Finally got a few diamonds. Hooray! Oh, I actually really lucked out. I got more diamonds, like, right away. <laughs> that's cool. I'll take it. Well, if I'm reading the ore chart correctly, uh, I suspect... Lapis is the same pretty much from 64 down everywhere. There's a little bit more around zero, but uh, there still should be some down here. Well, I'm out of power. So home we go. All right, home we are. So let's throw away some of our stuff. I did get this nifty thing, the gobber foo, a better option than coal uh, or charcoal. All right, that's neat. All right, and then I'll get that stuff. All right, I definitely want to try out this thing. Nether, I guess that's a thing that you find underground in the net. Okay. Requires gobber level pickaxe to mine. Oh, really? Okay, neat. Uh, but I think this thing generates like a healthy amount of RF. So we've got 14.8K right now. So let's drain it out so that it's empty just to try it. Oh yeah, that burns for a while. That thing's pretty cool. I think we've got another one of those, and I think I can make them now because, yeah, one gobber glob makes eight of these gobber foos. So, I mean, I'm just saying, but that's pretty good. We have a lot of burn time left. That might be, like, closing in on a million RF, give or take. Not too shabby. We'll let that charge up. Uh, all right, cool. Let me put away some stuff, and we'll be right back. Yeah, so nine gobber globbits is what we got those down there. It makes one gobber glob. So not too insane, but also pretty good. Hey, not bad. We've got 815,000 RF. That is pretty good, dudes. That is really good, actually. Uh, I'm going to take my other one of these gobber foos and stick it in here. Because um, that should generate, you know, a pretty good amount of RF for that. And that'll keep this thing cooking because i'm obviously processing all my ores and whatnot so that'll be nice all right cool 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 and then uh i really need to get more well everything but let's uh let's upgrade this gadget a little bit more so we can get more everything uh so i'd love to be able to get more fortune but we don't we i found zero lapis i didn't find a single lapis uh which is a bummer for sure but we'll be able to get more once I get to mining a little bit better. Uh, so let's get our other upgrades that will make my life better. How about efficiency? That should definitely make my life better. Because uh, what that'll do... I've got a, I've got enough lapis to make a couple upgrades though, right? Good. Uh, this will make me mine faster. And faster is always better. So we can do that. And then I know we're going to need a healthy amount of blocks. So that can do that. That can do that. 
Um, I could probably get a few more. That's probably enough redstone burning for now. Yeah, I don't have that much redstone. So four out of five, not terrible. That will make mining a lot faster, like a lot, lot faster. Uh, I should also maybe be able to get range upgrades from this. So how about range tier one? Needs a bit of lapis. I'm going to hold off on the range upgrade just yet until I get more debt, uh, lapis. Uh, what I wouldn't mind is light placer, though. That would be cool. That would also make my life far easier. So let's get that. So that's going to need... Um, I'm going to need a little bit of redstone. Okay, good. I do have some more. I have probably just enough. Barely. So I think I need some of you guys. Right? And then Light Placer is going to need two lanterns. Four of these. And then two of these. And that's just barely enough. And what this will do is it will automatically place lights wherever it's dark. Which is awesome. So while I'm here, I'm thinking I'll get a pocket storage. Do I have the resources for that? Do I have enough redstone left still? I have probably, maybe, possibly exactly enough redstone left. No, I need more redstone for the pistons. All right, we're going to have to do pocket storage on our next run. Uh, but that'll let me store lots of stuff. All right. So I'm going to go back to Y level 8 for a bit, because there should be a, a mix of coal, lapis, and uh, diamond here. Oh, yeah, that's better. Isn't that much cooler? Way faster. And the placing of the lights. Love it. Those are the little lights right there. See, every time it gets dark enough, it'll pop a new light down. And that's it. You can break it if you wish. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, this is going to make my life so much better. All right, as I've been mining for like under a minute, <laughs> I've already run into inventory issues. So I'm going to run back. I did find some redstone and I found some lapis, which is cool. So I think I can get... Well, actually, I don't think I can get. I didn't get enough lapis to get the Nux upgrade of Fortune, but I did get enough lapis or uh, redstone to make a dank null or a pocket storage, which I think I think would be a good call, right? So, and I also got some more gobber foo, which is like super cool. You get that from the other gobber blocks. It's super rareish, but I got an, a lot more this time, maybe because I had Fortune going on. I don't know. So I'm throwing that in my charging station to keep my gadget going. The so pocket storage tier one super cool um lets you hold up to eight different items and i think it can hold uh 255 of each item um and any excess that it picks up will automatically be voided but we can upgrade that further uh i'm thinking i'll go with tier two because that's a little bit of gold i can afford that i think right i've got some gold hanging around still yeah i can upgrade this to a tier two so that's going to need two more pistons and two more chests. There we go. And that can hold up to 4095 of each item, uh, which is sweet. Now, if you want to upgrade that further, you can use some diamonds and get a storage that can hold 65,000 of each item. And then tier four can hold, what's that, a million or 104,000? A million. A million of each item. Um, I don't see why you would need so many of such things, but okay. Uh, so what I'll do is I will get my cobbled deep slate and my dirt and, you know, all this other stuff. And I'm going to put it in here, right? So you guys can all go in there and get stored, right? So, and then cobbled deep slate, andesite, dirt, diorite, soapstone, tough, calcite, gravel sand. That should be cool. That should be good enough, at least. Um, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And you can see here there's, you know, you can scroll through. I think mouse wheel also works. Yeah, definitely. So, neat, right? Now, any excess that I pick up will automatically go in there. Now, here's another neat tidbit about the charging station. It won't waste burn time when it's full. So, feel free to throw as much fuel in there as you want. It will never waste a drop of fuel. That was a big thing for me when I was making that mod, is I wanted to make sure that it was very efficient in that way. So... Neat. And how are you doing? Um, you're still burning up some stuff, but you're going to need more in a bit. Have some charcoal to keep you running, and I'm going to go mine some more. Uh, any upgrades I can apply at this point? Uh, a little bit of lapis I said I would need to get the range upgrade. I could probably pull that off real quick. Why don't I do that real fast, just because I can? 
Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. So range upgrade. There we go. Gadget range one. So that would be you. Easy peasy. Range two needs some emeralds. Um, I don't think I found any of those yet, but that's okay. Cool. Okay. And then um, what I'll do is make sure that I've got, you know, a little cobble here because I always like that. And this will make it so that you can have a longer range mining gadget. Uh, don't forget to check your range setting here. It's now up to 10. Now, if you want, there's nothing stopping you from making another pocket storage unit to hold things like redstone and iron and all the other things you want to have. Um, so it's up to you if you want to make a second pocket storage for that. Should I do that? I mean, it feels like a good idea. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'll do that. For now, I mostly just wanted to avoid the excess junk that I don't need. Do I have enough stuff to make a magnet upgrade, though? Because that would also be nice. That would be cool. Um, magnet upgrade. I believe I have the resources for that. Yeah, I can pull that off. Why don't I do that one real quick, too? Two, two, two. It is a diamond-heavy mod, but to be fair, you're also getting, you know, some pretty good value for this. Right? Because this mining gadget will last you forever. Like, once you spend the resources on it, you're done. No up, no repairs, nothing else. It's just, you know, it works all the time. So magnets, magnets one of my favorites. It'll vacuum up the resources straight into your inventory. And now I get to test if the magnet upgrade works with the pocket storage, because that's going to be a thing that I'm not sure if it works or not. We're going to find out, though, together. All right, inventory clear-ish, ready to go. Uh, and I think I'm put away some stuff I don't necessarily need to carry around with me at the moment. That would be cool, too. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's do it. Mining time. So Magnet will vacuum up the items straight into your inventory. Now, do I have Granite in here? I didn't, so now I do. So now Granite is not going into my inventory. Granite is going into the pocket storage. See? And excess Granite will get voided, which is exactly what I want to see. Sweet. And that 10 block range is super good. Oh, hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, I see Lapis. Nobody panic, but I see Lapis. Now for the true power of mining gadgets. I don't have to go in there to get it. I can just mine it up from here. I want whatever that stuff is. Give it to me. Cool, right? How cool is that? And if I had slightly more range upgrades, I wouldn't have even had to drop down for it. Alright, back to mining off camera. Whoa! I was about to come in and say, hey look, I found one of those... One of those chest places. Oh my goodness, that thing actually hurts. Uh, and I found a mimic. That's cool. Today I learned there's mimics in the pack. Got you. Got you, chest slayer, amateur archaeologist. Find an artifact. Ooh, what I find? So it increases the length of invincibility after taking damage. Okay. I'll take it. Sure, why not? Ooh, lapis. I'll take that too. Literally, like, the main thing I'm after is Lapis right now, because I really want to get Fortune 3. Uh, but I'm just kind of exploring this big tunnel system that I found out here. Uh, and I found some uh, some cool stuff. So I figured I'd open these chests on camera with you guys. Is that cool? Is that sound like a plan? Uh, and I've just been, like, throwing random junk in my backpack, kind of, as I go. Look at this. I've gotten seven more of those Gobber Foo things. Those things are the best. All right, anything cool in here? Sugar cane, I mean, I guess. And an iron forged helmet, I'll take that. That's better than my, than this one. Um, pumpkins, beetroot, uh, a gem, 21% total mining speed. That's cool. Decimating iron axe of the Minotaur. That's cool. I have no idea if I need it or not, but I'll take it. I don't know how to slot gems into armor. 
21% total mining speed. It probably doesn't affect my laser. Well, it might. My laser should accept most things. I mean, there's an empty socket here. Can I like... Yeah, I don't know how to socket stuff. I'm not quite sure how to socket gems. So we'll just stick it in our backpack for now, along with all the other stuff. Ooh, diamonds and emeralds and amethyst. Oh my. Ah, uh, that's cool. Plus 2.5 step height. Hmm? That's cool. Okay. Yeah, lots of neat stuff. I'll hang on to uh, emeralds is actually really good because I can use those for some uh, for some gadget upgrades. All right, back to mining off camera. I'm just kind of running through this area here and mining up what resources I'm interested in at the moment. Oh, looks like some water. Lapis, yes, please. My goodness. And it's very dark down there. But luckily the, the mining gadget's good at placing lights at a distance. Ooh, is that another one of those things? It is another. Oh my goodness, a baby skeleton wearing armor. And a baby creeper. And a mimic. Creeper. I'm okay. We're all okay here. Well, that was cool. All right, good. I just want to make sure he didn't blow up whatever cool guy. Uh, Armor or whatever. Aqua Dashers allows the wearer to walk on fluids while sprinting. That's cool. That's pretty neat, right? How cool is that? Negative 10% total entity gravity. Some really interesting stuff here. Like, really interesting stuff here. Oh, a stoneling. What's that? Is that from Quark? Is that a quirk mob? Oh, yep, he teleports away when I when I approach him. Noted. Okay. Uh, only one cool chest here, and all it has is an annihilating stone axe of the berserker. Okay. Dime a dozen. Opening instanced loot chests equals that. Now oh, there's a wandering trader down here. I, I wouldn't recommend that, y'all. Wandering trader, this is not a good place for you to be. I don't know how you got down here. I didn't know wandering traders spawned inside caves like this, but... That's cool. Alright, back to off-camera work. Back if something interesting happens. So I'm going to equip those Aqua Dashers and try them out. Uh, I, you know, came back up here. Probably a good time to eat. Not, bad, uh, not a bad idea. Uh, I cleaned up my inventory. All organized now. I can charge up my gadget if I so desire. I can also throw a few of these things in here. Because that was pretty good times right there. And you're all processing and doing your stuff? Beautiful. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm going to keep that in there. Let's put away some of this mess. I'll put you in here for now. Uh, yeah, I guess you're not really belonging in here. You more belong in here, but this thing's getting full. So we're going to have to upgrade our storage at some point soon. But hey, I think i got enough lapis maybe to uh, get tier 2. That would be cool. If I could do that, I'd be very pleased. So let's get out our tier 1 fortune upgrade. And upgrade him is going to need six blocks of lapis. Cool. And two blocks of gold. Beautiful. So you to you. And now I think I just need two diamonds and another six blocks. So that would be even better if I could get you up to... Nice. Fortune tier three. That's what's up. All 
right, nice. Uh, and can I get my range 2 upgrade? For 2 emeralds, I can. And I think I will. That's a good use of emeralds, right? It's just emeralds and 4 lapis. That's doable. So get me my range tier 1. And upgrade you. Needs a little bit of glass. Where did I put my glass? I had some, right? I do with it. I didn't put it in here, did I? No. What indeed? Well, there's my glass. Sweet. Uh, and then, uh, do I want efficiency 5? It's going to need a lot of redstone. I think that's doable, right? Seven and eight. And then just so that I can say that it's fully upgraded. That is cool. All right. Uh, and magnet is done. Uh, so let's recap. Uh, Silk Touch, I don't need right now, but I could I could get. I just need some slime balls for that one. That's a tricky one to get. Void Upgrade, I don't think we need that because we're using Pocket Storage. Magnet done. 3x3 three three done. Light Placer done. Freezing would be nice, but I need some snowballs first, and that's not super critical. It'll turn adjacent water blocks into ice and adjacent lava into obsidian so that stuff doesn't rain on you when you're mining. It's convenient, but it's not critical. Fortune's done, range is done, battery will do at some point. I think that needs quartz, though. Yeah, I made that need quartz. So we have to go to the nether if we want to upgrade that. And then speed, fully upgraded. This is going to be a beast, a beast of a mining tool. Uh, quick note, my sword did break while I was down there, so I should get a new sword. But I think it's wrapping up point for the episode. So I might do a little mining between episodes, and then we'll come back next time. Uh, I probably want to get into silent to get some armor and weapons. And, you know, we'll figure out what else is next. Uh, maybe building a house and not living in a cave. For now, Delta 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.